tell me about your cousin Helen. So Helen is, is 96. She uh, lives in Florida. And um, she and her two sisters survived the war. The only members of my, my huge extended family who got through the war. Um, she was actually smuggled into the Warsaw Ghetto and uh, on a uh, discovered that there was a corpse run in the morning where they would take out the dead people and uh, the, the transportation would go back in and she got smuggled in and I think out again with corpses. Um, and she actually told me a story that made me realize that what I do is not trivial. Um, because if you make up stuff for a living, which is basically what I do, you, you feel kind of trivial. And she was telling me about how in the ghetto she started teaching the girls. Um, just local girls would come in to her and she would teach them arithmetic, teach them grammar. Um, and they, and at that point you had a, a death sentence um, for possessing a book books were illegal, but she had a Polish translation of Gone with the Wind that was slipped to her, and she would keep it behind a loose brick in the wall and stay up late every night reading Gone with the Wind so that when the girls came in that day, the next day, she could tell them what happened in the chapters she read that night. And just for that hour, they got out of the Warsaw Ghetto and they got to visit the American South, and I thought that actually changes everything. The idea that it's not just escapism, it can actually be escape, and it's worth dying for. And Helen and her two sisters wound up in a camp like this at the end of World War II. Um, on their way, they, they fled Poland, they, they wound up homeless, they wound up absolutely displaced, they were hoping to get to Palestine at that point um, when the oldest of the sisters who spoke no English fell in love with the American um, commander of the camp and, uh, and they, they wound up changing directions and all three sisters made it to America and two of them, the two younger ones, Helen and her sister Terry, are still alive. So that, that it brings things like this very much home to me, over and over.